What's up, Hockey Town? It is another beautiful day, and uh, we are big fans of the undefeated Detroit Red Wings. Woo woo! Uh, Let's I'm go. Your, I'm your host, Jake. Joining us today, of course, as always, are Maddie and Tom. Hello. And in the interest of time, we're just going to get right to it. So, first things first, um, thank you to everybody that we met on opening night. It was a lot of fun. We got to hang out with you guys, record a fun video. We put one up on YouTube. Uh, we, Maddie and I went around and interviewed a bunch of different fans. That was so fun. And we got some interesting highlights. Um, sport, shout out to Jim for his catch-up rant. Yes. Talking and about, Phil Collins. And Phil Collins, yeah. He I didn't know about the Phil Collins lore until you were like, do you have any thoughts about Phil Collins? I'm like, that was a very specific. He just went for it. He went for it. Justin was really funny. Oh, too. Justin. Went, shout out to Justin. Oh, yeah. Justin crushed it. <laughs> He crushed I feel like it. I missed so many inside jokes. That one is on YouTube, so you can be yeah. in on the inside jokes. So okay. we had a few people come to us with pickup lines, and we are going to determine the winner of it right now. Um, in my opinion, I think that Jim had a pretty funny one, but Emma also had a great one. Let me read them out for the record, everybody. So we have r- runner up and... Yeah, we'll have our runner up and then we'll have our winner. So... Damn, we're doing this live. We're just gonna, f- we're just freaking swatting Jim and Emma. Wait, what's the word called when you send the SWAT team out? SWAT doxing. Dox- or doxing no, them. there's another word. Oh, Whatever. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So Jim's line was, "I'm ketchup. Do you want to start a ketchup pack?" And then he handed uh, Maddie a thing of ketchup. He was also dressed up in a giant ketchup. And then okay. Maddie's was, "Are you Emma's. mixed or Emma's?" Yeah, Emma's was, "Are you mixed? Half fine, half mine." Honestly, I'm going to keep it real. Both of those are pretty bad. Yeah, like, those are they're both rough. bad, but also good. They're so bad, in fact, that one of them must go home with the 313 hockey hat. <laughs> and I think we should take our votes. I vote for Ketchup Man. I also will vote for Ketchup Man because it made me laugh. Emma, I love you, though. We love you, Emma. I'll vote Jim, for Emma's. Jim, DM our Twitter account and we will mail you your hat. Or I'll just see you. Or yeah, we'll just see you Monday, probably. He's a cryptid. He shows up at every sporting event. He, he really does. I went to the mission. Oh, we don't even have our Detroit sports update. Oh, well, here's, here's our okay, Detroit here's sports your, update. <laughs> sports update. <laughs> so for those unfamiliar, there's a man. You probably see him at a Detroit sports event if you've ever been. Dressed as ketchup. His name is Jim, and he dons a big thing of ketchup. And he'll go around and he carries a little bottle of ketchup he on his keychain. The ketchup on Oh, he doesn't? He's got the weed pen on him always. Always. But. No, he, dude, I don't know if I'm allowed to out him like this, but he walked into LCA. He opens up this little pouch and he had like 10 blunts in there. He's like, look what I brought in. I, My man. I was like, damn, Jim, go off. <laughs> he, al- he also, no, because he smuggled in a pack of ketchup. I'm like, damn, you smuggled this in. And then he pulled that out. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's the king of ketchup he loves ketchup he rocks hates, hates phil collins and is one of the nicest people you will ever meet so if he's you ever a cool dude if you ever see a, a giant ketchup a giant ketchup guy let him know that 313 hockey loves him but also so i saw him yeah we saw him opening night and then my detroit sports news update is he, he was also at the michigan game yesterday undefeated michigan wolverines if you like any other college football team get bent uh we're in an msu house right we now. are i'm at we're recording at my dad's house i'm in jake's basement but also both like i was telling your dad both of my parents are sparties yeah we're cmu fans honestly Ew. yeah come on one cares we like action, action baby <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> it's the mac division they call it maction that? whenever that's yeah. the division that mid-american conference or... yeah you put the mid in mid-american <laughs> <laughs> okay not wrong <laughs> yeah, no, that team is the most mediocre team i've ever watched in my life um, we are very we're i feel like something, something very special is happening right now that jake and i have not addressed but both of us are here together recording yeah in person so, so i'm gonna be here recording this week's episode and then next week i am going to take the pilgrimage up to the up to record with tom unfortunately yeah. maddie's gonna be in chicago um i will be watching the wings play though so. oh okay cool yeah watch them yeah. beat the Blackhawks. watching them demolish i'm gonna be the most obnoxious motherfucker in chicago please so. be please. i will and I this will. this team has been so exciting and we're gonna get to that i know very shortly but first i want to talk a little bit about the griffins so simon edmondson was sent down which was kind of a surprise he for wasn't a lot of people. sent down he's he to the ahl yeah but it's not really sent down because he yeah. was never part of the it was assigned to the ahl sorry okay. let's get technical here <laughs> But he's been crushing it four points in two games. And everybody that I know that's at these games has said he's been the best player on the ice. Yeah. Really? I mean, it makes sense because we know for him and a few other players, and I listened to the Lalonde 
Lalonde interviews, he said that it was really just like it came down to a last, you know, few day decision. So if you, if he already has the coaching staff, like questioning if he should start on the team or not, um, of course, he's going to be one of the best guys on the ice in Grand Rapids. I would be genuinely shocked if he isn't on the roster by the end of November. Like, Yeah, and that's something else that, you know, Lalone talks about as well, is, like, we shouldn't focus so much that just because he didn't play the first game of the season, you know, we could have injuries, as we saw now. Unfortunately, Bertuzzi is injured. I don't know if we put that in the notes. Yeah, but... he got it. We don't know. How oh, he yeah. No, I put that in the notes later. Okay. Uh, cool. He's being evaluated tomorrow, so right. there should be more news on that. But my point is, like, you, you know, people are going to get injured. You know, people are going to get moved around. Just because Edmondson didn't start the very first game of the season doesn't mean, like, he's not, you know, doing a great job. So maybe we'll see him come up sooner than, rather than later. But I agree with you guys. I definitely think he'll play at least, I don't know, five or two. Well, hopefully not. I don't know. It's hard for me to say because I don't want to be like, oh, hopefully somebody gets injured. But um, so Yeah. That- <laughs> <laughs> so Sebastian Cosa, the goaltender that we drafted a few uh, mm-hmm. weeks ago, started out. They originally started him in the ECHL, yeah. which was such a weird decision. That was weird. Yeah, I, I just I don't see the oh, did... line with the Toledo Walleye. But he did played... they move him? So yeah, he, yeah. So he okay. played one game with them, absolutely crushed it, and now he's up in the Grand Rapids. The Grand Rapids. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to hear out of your prospects. Exactly. Well, we know, you know, as when he played in the WHL, he was doing a great job, and then oh yeah, people people got a little bit down on him after the World Juniors, but I think that, those tournaments don't count. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, count. Unless, unless he did really well, yeah. then it, then, then it counts. Uh, and then Cross Hanna scored his first goal. Oh no, I'm scared for what Jake's gonna say. <laughs> I am too, Maddie. So I mean, you're not I, the only one. I think he really. This wasn't really like his first goal because oh, no. his first goal Here was to show up at the White House on January sixth, twenty twenty. Jake. <laughs> Jake just did the dunk. I was watching him lay it up, set it up, set it up, set it up. You see, uh, we're, I'm gonna post the video of this episode. I think because you can see the gears turning in my head. And like, oh, really I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> But anyway, that's that's enough Grand Rapids stuff for today. Let's talk about the real stuff. So- Actually, real quick, I do want to mention because uh, Lombardi is playing in Flint. He scored his first goal for the season. Okay. Good shout. Right Good on. shout, Tom. And, yeah, if, and if you're not if you're not going to Detroit game or if Detroit's not at home, check out Flint. They do have a pretty good game, pretty good team over there. And it's pretty fun to go to those games ohl games i think are a lot of fun tom you're giving flint more support than the u.s government ever has holy shit (laughs) that's not wrong (laughs) that's bleak speaking of bleak let's talk about the opposite of that game one (laughs) was so much fun um i took my partner quinn and it was their first ever hockey game and yes what what is quinn's reaction to hockey I asked them as soon as I saw them. Yeah, so at first, Quinn was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, happy to hang out with all the friends. Like, we went to Harry's beforehand. And afterhand. And afterhand. We were, like, mingling with everybody. It was a good time. And then we get in the game, and there was, like, a power play sequence where Elmer so mm-hmm. blum, like, dummied a guy and, like, bangled oh, out oh, another oh. guy. And I hear Quinn go, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, Quinn, Quinn, you got the bug. <laughs> so. That's, like, how fast it happens, though. It really is. I, That's all it takes. I'm so excited because I think they'll be engaging in more games. And right now they said they're just in it for the vibes, okay. which is fair. That's fine. But I think it's going to go beyond the vibes eventually. Um, I sat next to a kid in a Matthews jersey, which made no sense to me. But I think the reason why is because they wanted to show them what a real NHL team looks like. Um, because today, or the day of the game, they crushed it. Three to nothing, blanked yeah. Montreal. Made they pulled out Nick Suzuki's little baby dick and jacked it off in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> they showed how much of a how how little Cole Caulfield is. Um, his slang- dick or him as a human? Well, he's like five. Well, he's why like do five you know? One. Why do you know Suzuki has a baby dick? Well, you watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> he whiffed on that shot. True, but, true. Um, Habs fans were really, really loud around us, and really? then they got really, really quiet. <laughs> no Habs fans around me at all. Oh. See, I was in like the kind of middle. I think I was near away. You were mid. Yeah, I was mid. <laughs> By Adrian, the queen As of per mid. usual. Don't don't talk about Adrian. Yeah, 
not Avery. Um, I was talking about Jake. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, in terms of game stuff, Elmer Soderblom got. Oh, mm-hmm. dog. He's been he's been so fun to watch. And my my favorite part is like when I was at the game, I heard some discourse from the guys around me. I guess some of them were Wings fans and some of them were just casual enjoyers. And it like the hype that you know we, that we have talking about some of them was like, oh yeah, that's the six eight guy. Like everyone's like, oh, that's the big boy. And it's like fun watching people like have that mm-hmm. sort of reaction to him. I saw a meme this morning on Twitter. It was like Zdeno Chara, Pavel Datsuk, and it's like the family guy meme oh. have the elephant head and the penguin body. I saw that. So, too. that's Elmer Soderblom he's uh, the fucked up child of Chara and Datsuk which yeah, I fucking love he really is his that's hands amazing. are incredible every single time he was on the ice that game Silky. you can see him and I like there were points like Adrian and I were both like whoa 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 yeah like, the whole time like he's just fun to watch he's he uses his body he dangles he's like this good combo of skill and physicality that I yeah. think mm-hmm. is going to give you an edge especially mm-hmm. in the playoffs I that's think he's, we, uh, we'll yeah. see him in the season. Oh, that's there's your hot take. <laughs> I don't know. Um, fun he's, fact: the line of Michael Rasmussen, oh yeah, Elmer Soderblom, and uh, Oscar Sundquist is the biggest line in NHL history. You know what they're calling that one? Mm-hmm. The big boy line, no, the BBL. I'd love that better, but they're calling it the Redwood line because they're also tall. The Redwood. I, line. That's pretty. I cool. do like yeah, that. Yeah, that's a sweet yeah. name. <laughs> I don't know where I saw that, but it's called the Redwood line. Wait, okay. I think what I saw I... Ken Ken Cowley, isn't it? You mean DJ Doug Deep? Yeah, DJ Doug Deep. Sorry, DJ Doug Deep. Sorry. What Sorry. a guy. Also, speaking of former three one three hockey guests, Daniela was a gem. I saw her at the game, and I spoke with her, and she was just a fucking love her. But she's so excited. Is she going to come on our show again? Yeah, I'm sure she would if we asked. But what I wanted to go back to is uh, the Redwood line. Now that we're calling it that, <laughs> I haven't been super. What do you guys think about Sunquist so far? He surprised me. He was a oh, two, yeah? point, two point game that first uh, Did he opening night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think he's going to be, I honestly expect him on like the fourth line, but he's showing mm-hmm. chemistry with. That's my thing. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck up a good thing. Like they're showing chemistry. These guys are like actually impacting things. Rasmussen looks yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. I love, yeah. I love seeing this season version of Michael Rasmussen. He's uh he's been great. Yeah. He's a little bastard. I love him. I also (laughs) feel like having a bigger guy on the team, he's probably used to being one of the biggest, if Mm -hmm. not the biggest, but now he has a little kid in air quotes, who's six, eight. I feel like he's going to have to also, I I think it's in any case, when you have young guys on a team, the older guys will have to prove themselves a bit, not like super old, like Ben Chirot or something, but like middle-aged that's funny that a, how old is how old, 27 year old yeah, yeah. wait michael rasmussen's like 22 or 23 no yeah, he's young no he's young. You Google it, Google it. because we drafted him a few years ago yeah i have to imagine that line being out on ice is so intimidating for the opponent right and then you get guys like cider on the back end yeah. oh god <laughs> i mean that's an army of giants Mm-hmm. I think somebody said it they really have an is. average height of like six foot or something like that, or six That's one, right. which is super. Wow. The shortest player I think is five eleven. Um, five eleven on paper. On paper. <laughs> yeah, when, when dudes say they're five eleven, they're actually like five nine. Yeah, I yeah. always I always add two inches to a height that a dick man tells. Oh, me. that's smart. And subtract three inches from a dick size. Oh, that's my my methodology. That's a good. That's Thank that's you. the the Maddie method. That's the Maddie method, and you know what? It rarely fails. So I didn't see the second game. I did. Tell me what you thought. All right, last night played the Devils. Uh, was their home opener. I always felt weird like watching another team's home opener and like imagine being like, I don't know, weird vibes. But imagine getting dummied at your home opener. That's what I'm saying. Could be me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> imagine getting dummied at your own home opener. Yeah. Um, so the game ended wings for New Jersey too. Um I'm reading a note. I think it was Jake wrote yeah. Zadina has been invisible through two games. <laughs> so for the record, Philip Zadina's been scratched both games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But We've been making yeah. jokes left and right. He's our favorite player. We love him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I I did watch before the uh, episode and hopping on. I did watch um Malone's post game uh, after yeah. Montreal, and he talked a little bit about that decision when uh, Helena yeah. asked him. But it seems that it's like a sit down and think about what type of player that you want to be kind of moment Just for him think about what you've done <laughs> Give him a it, it kind of it, it kind no, of it feels actually like is. that it actually Lalonde also mentioned that like him and Suter 
Well, Suter, he ended up putting in last night. Mm-hmm. But yeah. the, the Dina, he said that his, like, everything besides, like, stick handling, he he needs to work on. And to, mm-hmm. to- Ooh, that's not good. Yeah. yeah. yeah and-, not- and I'm, like, sitting here and, listen, I'm not happy about having, you know, a guy sit on the bench. But obviously, you need someone to do it. But people are like, oh, Maddie, look at it. And I'm like i'm just happy that i'm right but i'm not happy that i'm right you know what i mean like yeah it's it's a bittersweet feeling again just to reiterate going off what i said last episode i don't want him to fail by any means i want him to go and fucking have an amazing season so i would like you to be proven wrong right I would like, like to be proven too, yeah. wrong so i'm not happy about it but yeah. at the same time i'm like he he i don't want to be mean but like if adam ernie is beating you up for a roster spot dog okay can uh, we talk about el- yeah. el- elite adam ernie yes okay yes I, first it was just like kind of a meme but now he's now that I, I he's like leaning into being elite adam ernie and i haven't been like i haven't been mad at his play honestly like he's been what i like about ernie and what one of the things i dislike the most about zadina is ernie will always like hustle to the puck and like really you can tell he's giving a a lot of effort so i really appreciate ernie in terms of that style of play and so i don't know how he was in game two but with verana at some points in the Mm -hmm. first game you could tell he kind of checked out a little bit and i was like ernie get no verana jacob i was like get in it get in it come on he just he wouldn't You'd see him battle for the puck in like the neutral zone, mm-hmm. but when it came to like four checking, he just kind of like checked out a bit. <laughs> checked out. <He's>, yeah. <laughs> he scored yesterday. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I don't doubt he's going to be a fantastic player on this roster, but I know that like little hustle could separate be. him from being yeah. a good player to be yeah. a good player. Yeah. Um, it I is those it, real small things. Maybe it's our like the young Czech attitude. Like if you think about it, him and it's a cultural thing. I, it yeah. might be, but you know. Isn't isn't Chara also Czech? No, Chara's Slovakian. Oh my bad. Um, Apologies to all ex Czechoslovakian people. Well, I was gonna say I'm thinking of other like, but like other. I mean, Philip Peronik is Czech. Yeah, fuck Peronik too. Oh no, was he bad this this game? He has not been good. But I mean, David Pasternak's Czech and he's crushing it. He is like. But he's older. Like, also think about like Jager. Is he that much older than Peronik? I, I feel like everybody's old. Maybe I'm wrong. He's like 25 or 26. 26 yeah. years old. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Maybe okay. I was about to say. I thought he. I thought he was like 33 or something. My bad. They have some good players. It's just Peter Mrazek was Czech too. Uh-huh. I think it might just be like. I'm- cerebral thing you know like just a oh, another player with attitude issues yeah it's not I, I, don't, I don't know i don't know about attitude i think it's like motivation eh, like yeah there, there's maybe something, yeah that's probably a something way going on it. maybe it's something in the locker room i don't know it's hard to say yeah we, we're not in there we don't know um well you saw suzuki small dick oh yeah i mean it was out there for everyone to see i know it was so he little. was wanting it it was so they they had to so zoom little. in on the camera so much to even give you like a glimpse it's like the it's like the fan cams that get like you can get from 100 rows away mm-hmm. that's what we used to yeah. see nick suzuki's little pp and it's still just it just wasn't there it just he wasn't performing he wasn't a, he didn't satisfy his fans i'm used to that <laughs> Oh, are you a Montreal fan? <laughs> no, Red Wings fan. Um, then how can you oh, be used to it? Them. Yes. I need I need to tell you guys. I have a I have a new like hockey player crush. Ben Sherratt is so handsome. Yesterday a guy <laughs> was like, what guy on the Red Wings would you want to fuck the most with no hesitation? I was like, Ben Sherratt. <laughs> He's so he looks like he's handsome. He is. He looks like so. I always thought Bobby Ryan was a little handsome, but like Bobby he's Ryan's like handsome too. He's like a more handsome mm. Bobby Ryan. He's really like pretty. Look at that the hair. Hello, everyone, everyone listening. Google Ben Sherrod if you don't know what he looks mm-hmm. like. Also on the red carpet. Mm. Oh yeah, you were at the red carpet. What I was, was that at, like? Tell me was, who it was lit. Who gave you the best vibes? vibes? Oh, best vibes. Mm. Bertuzzi had great vibes. He took a picture with us um who else is great soda bloom had good vibes i heard emma uh verona came right up to yeah emma and was like hey uh you always you're always there at opening essentially like, warm up yeah me. verona and emma are a thing i don't know if that's supposed to be public but now it is yeah. anyone who listens to this podcast probably knows who emma is yeah um uh, who else had good vibes she's a big darren helm stand for those who don't know but anyway yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, of all God. the players, you know what? I'm gonna pick a. I'm gonna pick a player. I'm gonna be a really big fan of Who? Um, Brendan Smith. No, I'll be the biggest it's Brendan I Smith. Tweeted, fan. I tweeted about Brendan Smith last night. I forgot about him. Brendan Smith has no hockey IQ, and I love him for it. He's just he's the himbo. He is the himbo. He's he's kind of hot too. Yeah, he's pretty handsome. He's handsome. I met him when he was on the wings. My two favorite day. Brendan Smith moments. Moment one was when he tried to fight Zidane O'Chara. Oh yeah, and they had him mic'd up, and he and Chara kept going, "You don't want it." You don't want it. And he's like, no, I do. I do. Let's go. And he's you like, don't you don't this want this. <laughs> oh, I actually, I remember that. And then the second one was during the playoffs, um, a puck remember shot by and Brendan Smith leaned out and caught the puck. Oh, oh speak- on the ice. wait, speaking of that, that was one thing last night from the game that's worth mentioning. Like we got a stupid mm. penalty from Soderbloom because there was like, I don't know if it was a good call or not, but the puck was in the air and he closed his hand on it. So we got two minutes for that. Sad. But Bust. <laughs> Send him okay. down. Send him down. Bring it. up, bring up Zadina. <laughs> <laughs> this man closed the puck. Horrible, terrible. Yeah. yeah, but also, like we said, Bertuzzi uh blocked a shot. I think it was. Well, you were in, in his chest, but I think it was his arm. Yeah, I thought he hit his hand. Yeah, I like think his hand. Thumb. He got his X-ray or his hand X-rayed. So. We'll see. Hopefully there's a quick recovery there. It didn't look great watching the play. I did see a really funny highlight where I think it was near the end of the game. All of the Devils fans started chanting, fire up, Mm -hmm. fire up. Yeah, they they want the fire windy. They want him now. We fucking been there. No, he's but it's, but it's like game one and they're already calling for it well if <laughs> like, listen if if blashell would have been the coach this season i would have been doing the same fucking thing just I mean, thinking about yeah. it is making me like foam at the mm. mouth a little thinking about having blashell on. you guys want to hear a fun blashell fact? rabid maddie um, <laughs> yeah. so as of right now we are undefeated in the post jeff blashell era <laughs> And the Tampa Bay Lightning are one and two in oh, class. Jeff Black. Jeff Black. Fashion. Wait, this is something. This was something else I wanted to talk about. But like something that I noticed at the home opener, and also just from the game last night, is post Blashill era. Wait, uh, wait, what do you do for Jesus? BC, uh, BC and- BJ. Yeah, BJ. <laughs> P, would it be PJ or AJ? Post- B A B A B. Yeah, A B. Get Blashill <laughs> after Blashill. <laughs> okay, A B. So RWAB, Red Wings after Blasio. Uh, <laughs> I just noticed that we actually are like setting up plays and making passes. And it's like, wow, this is what a hockey team should be doing. Oh. And not just dumping the fucking puck onto the I, other side of the ice. You know, and I saw the dump and play, dump and chase play used effectively in game one because they dumped the puck and then they went in and started swarming. Okay, but that's mm-hmm. different. I mean, just like... <laughs> usually it's that passive you know like he beat during flash hill that would just they would dump it and that's it and then maybe make a line change but like every fucking time so okay so i have a i have a blash hill question yeah. we're at late career blash hill um late say, bj the last two lbj lyndon b johnson <laughs> the last two years of blash hill would you rather have done two years of mike babcock again no yes. really yes. oh no. we're divided whoa you didn't agree whoa tom didn't ag- okay go ahead tom I Babcock was just so bad for like locker rooms and shit. I agreed. That's it. That's all you got. And that's that's, pretty, that's, I mean, really, that's really that's okay. really like it. I agree with you, and I think he's a terrible person, and I don't want him back on the team. But in terms of seeing this team win, I do think I would rather have Blashell over. Or sorry, Babcock over Blashill. Because if, if you're asking the question, would we have more wins under Babcock or Blashill? Which yes, would you rather Babcock. have for two years? Yeah, I'm rather. Talk- yeah, I would rather have Blashill, but I, Babcock would have a better team. You yeah, like, you. That's probably, what I want. You'd probably get two two years under Babcock with like better or better record. Yeah, I think the players would fucking hate him. Yeah, like a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm aware of that, and I still. I still stand by my. You still name. stand. Yeah, I hate him, but I stand by my choice. Let's see what else do we have to cover here. We covered the two games. What do you guys want to talk about? Well, oh, so okay. Was this your guys's first opening night to go to the Red Wings? This was my first. Yeah. Not me. Okay. What was that like for you, Jake? A lot. Um, honestly, I felt like a niche internet micro celebrity. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just telling Brandon on the way here. I was like. I felt like a little celebrity. Yeah. Shout out to everybody. By the way, I didn't. Jake totally man 
covered man took over the intro or- and spoke all right sweetheart the men are talking <laughs> <laughs> sit down the men are about to talk about hockey. <laughs> no but i was what i wanted to say is thank you again to everyone who came and reached out to us who said hi and if you said hi and i didn't know who you were send me a dm because i really appreciated meeting people or whatever and everyone who had the little 313 hockey pins on yeah that was so Dude, sweet i didn't even make it into the arena with any pins or stickers because so yeah. many wow. people wanted before them before i saw you I yeah. was like, that's so cool pin. listen to this i didn't get out one of our own pins sad i, had to, wow. I actually gave away our last pin to I, I don't remember who but somebody was like better been someone good yeah i think it was one of our stands I like, okay i think it was either matt or kirsten I kirsten say a kid oh, well I, <laughs> do you know any you know like oh, shit <laughs> we'll find one then i mean <laughs> to be fair you guys probably met a shit ton of people so if you don't remember everyone's name. thank you tom yeah uh also we had a lot of booze in us for the record oh I was also like, also that I that mean, was that's my follow-up question to when you guys finish up <laughs> Uh, we had Seth. Shout out oh, Seth. Yeah. Kept handing me Modellos. He was feeding me. Seth's the best. He was great. Or they, they. Sorry, they were best. I'm so sorry. They Seth. were best. They were the best. Um, yeah, it was. It was just so much fun. People kept coming up. They it loved being interviewed. Blast. Like there were there were just so many great moments to be had. Yeah. People that like really just you got to see everybody's personality shine. Yeah. Ryan Hanna from the Winged Wheel yes. podcast is dying to get on the show. And so don't worry, Brad Crisco, we'll make time for you. <laughs> oh my God. We like briefly mentioned it to Ryan, which Jake goes, he is dying to get no, on the show. No, he came up and he said, when am I coming on your oh, show? Cute. Yeah. Like and then, so since then, I've been excited to have him. Prashanth Iyer wants to come on yes. show too. So we'll have Prashanth on at some We're point. We're going to have all of, my dad, by yeah. the way, my dad has the rap ready. I'm going to see him on Thursday. Yeah. Cool. I said, dad, I'm going to be there on Thursday. And- do you mind recording a video of you reading it or him reading it? Yeah, yeah, we'll I will. Post it on the page. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I thought also, depending on when we record this week, yes. we'll just have him on for a little, for a second, for a couple bars, just for yeah. the bars, and then sign off. Like I'm done with you now. Then let me think of what else. Oh yeah, Nolan Bianchi, who is a reporter for the Detroit News covering the Lions. Yeah, wants to come on as well. Really? So, I so. saw him there. I don't really know him, so I kind of looks like Han Solo. He's... He had like a white yeah, shirt and I saw him vest. and I saw you talking to him and I'm like oh I think it's that guy yeah but I didn't actually myself talk to him it was like, really fun to record the it. sorority girl fall outfit yes <laughs> yeah. Christian girl autumn <laughs> <laughs> spooky season it just... but it's in that one font yeah <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin emoji do you can you or tell we were emoji. can you tell we were in greek life oh my god one day we'll do an episode covering the weird shit we encountered. But until then, let's get back to hockey talk. Yeah. So what was the over under on your guys' drinks? What do you mean on our drinks? Well, my the over under for me was the day before I tweeted, what time do you think I'll be drunk yeah. tomorrow? So uh, Justin had set up over was after 5 p.m. under before 5 p.m. It was 5.18 p.m. So anyone who bet the over, you won congratulations it didn't take long i my dad told me the best way to start these kinds of days off is with two shots of whiskey smart man so i think that kind of tells you how they went i took the under so you took the under no 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 no, i didn't start underestimated you listen i only started drinking at like 4 45 okay see i thought you guys would have gotten the harry's a little bit earlier than we also yeah i got the harry's at three yeah which i've never been to harry's that early I wanted to go to the, oh, well, I didn't really get into it that much because I don't want to, but at the red carpet, I wanted to specifically see one player and he didn't stop. He cold shouldered you. You can out him if you want, but it's okay. I'm sorry. I know it's heartbreaking. I'm really upset about it. Him, Raymond and Larkin, they just blew by the fans. Like they stopped sad for like two and then, well, Raymond did a little bit more, but like some of those guys could have stopped and some of the guys were really good about stopping. Like people had brought like really nice things like for Raymond specifically around me, they had all this like a uh, personalized picture and a Jersey and like kids too. And like, yeah, I didn't want to say who it was, but it really actually made me. Did they have to sad. like, like, how did that work? Did they have to go just straight into the arena or did, they went back? They... It's like a, they, they start at one point and then the, the line, the end of the red carpet goes right back into the arena so they came out 
pretty it took it like a long time for them to come out but like those guys who i just mentioned were towards the beginning of it so lots of guys mm. it's not like they didn't have time you know lots yeah, of guys okay. after them and like yeah i just that's, that's a little bit thing. more understandable i learned a fun fact about philip Peronic. he actually has the record for the longest time without speaking to the media he's really? gone over a thousand really? minutes without talking to the media is that because he says no or yeah he refuses really <laughs> oh okay Okay. Wait, why? I don't know. He just doesn't like it. He just hates That's it. That's allowed. I didn't even know. I didn't know that was allowed either. I thought they had. To I'm make just it. here so I don't get fined. Yeah, but I'm yeah, just... you have to listen. Is he getting fined? No, I don't think he's getting fined. Nobody fucking wants to talk. No. To uh, what, what, also what, what fair. Get? I mean, like, like, what are you really going to get post game? <laughs> Helena's going to ask you. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Philip, what happened out there? And then he's going to go. Well, uh, you know, we tried our best, uh, but you know, we yeah. couldn't get to the level that uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, there's something going on and i need to get to the bottom Maddie's of prejudicial it. no <laughs> listen i'm not even prejudicial on purpose like i am just putting the pieces together now all of the guys who i have like this issue with are check hmm and that sounds prejudicial to me <laughs> yeah that sounds it's so weird they all from this they're all from the same place you know there's <laughs> but it's not it's not it's just <laughs> <laughs> but the thing the difference is I li- I dislike them all separately in my head, but now I'm having this epiphany that oh yeah, they're all check. Um, so we're gonna be at Monday's game. Maddie and I will be there, and I'll be at the game on Friday in Chicago. So as of as of the time this podcast comes out, we'll be here tonight. So come say hi, come hang out with us. We I don't know if Maddie has stickers. Do you have stickers? No. Okay. Shit, so we have nothing for you. Yeah. We we hate you. Jake will give you a forehead kiss if you want. Yeah. I'll give you the I'll do the ooh woo. The- <laughs> And if for some reason you find us together, you unlock a special prize. You do. Uh, that prize is, uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, and then I'll be going up to the UP. So if any of you have been to the UP or endured it, or if you're living there now and you have good recommendations of things to do. so that I have one. Die? Leave? <laughs> I was going to say go to Tom's house. Go to Tom's house. So I'm going to yeah. hang out. Uncle Tom's house. Uncle, Uncle Tom's cat. No! Oh! That sounds pretty prejudicial if you ask. That, that man is <laughs> hitting this dark era right now. So I think I'm going to end it with that. <laughs> rough morning. <laughs> sounds like somebody's having a rough afternoon. All right. Anyway, we love you. Um, And yeah, I hope you love us too. Please respond. Yeah. Please, respond. Please, respond. Please respond. Please respond. This is okay, this. I never loved you anyway, this bitch. This is what my DM sound like. Last <laughs> note though, please, if you can, contribute to the oh, yeah. 313 we need to possibly pay for Maddie's bail in Chicago on Friday. So, oh yeah, Matt, I'm gonna be with my dad. The the biggest. Okay, so Maddie and her dad's bail for Friday. So good call. Yeah, so we do have a Patreon or not a Patreon. We have a PayPal account that we will be posting. We'll post the link in the episode description as well as on our Twitter page. And thank you to everyone who's already yes, donated. Yes, thank you. To yes, our and producers. thank you everyone. You guys are you doing all, great. You all will get dick pics from Nick Suzuki. <laughs> If you send it, it it's it's going to come out like, you know, those little pixels that you see where it, it's like, like a Hubble telescope. It's, it's a low res image. <laughs> see, when you guys first started talking about this, I thought, oh, fuck, I'm probably going to take stop. something out because there's going to be some kind of legal oh, issues this, with Suzuki. No, this is going but on. now that you've, gone this so, you've just gone so far, it's fine. It's obvious. It's no it matter now. what, obviously, obviously a joke. It's like so. a cornerstone of this episode, actually. No. Yeah. My this concerns foundation <laughs> was built on dirty behavior. If you don't name this episode Nick Suzuki's small dick, then I don't want it. <laughs> Your puppy. And now my dad's puppy has come in. So <gasps> with that said, Ellie, come over here. I love Ellie. Come here, 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 Come here. 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 Come here.